Hey everybody. So uh, today I'm going to make a video on something I've been wanting to do for a long time and I think others as well and that's adopt actual wood stocks to uh, to 880s. So uh, at first I looked into uh, creating a stock from scratch. Uh, while it's a whole lot of work to take a piece of wood and shape it into something like this uh, I'm no woodworker for sure, certainly no master carpenter, but taking your time going slow, uh, you, you know, most anybody could do this as long as they, uh, have enough determination and, and just take their time. Uh, somebody does it and is real good at it, could probably do it a thousand times faster than an amateur like myself, but, uh, still I'm not saying it would look as good as a master, uh, gunsmith or or stock builder but i can make it look nice but that's again a lot of work it would probably take me i don't know there's no telling how many hours and and over the course of how many days and weeks and so forth so i started wondering if there wasn't a way to adapt like an off-the-shelf stock to uh, the 880s another complication trying to do it yourself is drilling this hole attachment hole all the way through the stock straight without breaking through or the bit wandering it's just there's a lot of complications to trying to make one from scratch so being able to adopt a factory stock or an off-the-shelf stock would be uh, a huge win not only uh, a huge time savings so i started looking at uh, shotgun stocks since they use butt stocks like our 880s and and so forth uh and i picked one that looked like it had about the same receiver angle and that was the Mossberg 500. So I ordered this Boyd's stock, uh, went a little fancy with it with the thumb hole and all that because uh, I have a Mossberg 500 that I was going to put it on if it didn't look like it could work. So it wasn't a waste of money either way for me. So once I got it in and started taking a look at it, I took a receiver like this and kind of held it up there. And sure enough, the angle was basically perfect uh, for the receiver. So then the next thing I did was uh, start looking at the interface to see if there was a way maybe I could adapt this interface to work with the 880s. So you may be wondering, well, how are you going to bolt a stock like this to an 880? And it uses a draw bolt like this that goes through the stock and screws into the receiver. So as it turns out, some daisies were offered with wood stocks. And that would be like some of your 822s and uh, I believe the 1917 or 917. But uh, in any case, some of them did. And how Daisy did it was they used a an adapter piece like this it's just a steel plate with a rivet threaded rivet in it and uh, I don't think Daisy offers these anymore but not to fear our good friend Ron over at Gateway to Air Guns uh, offers these so I've ordered some from Ron in fact the uh, AR buffer adapter I created I use that same attachment method because it's way, way more secure than the, uh, the way the plastic stocks make to the receiver. So, with that being said, uh, I'm gonna move the camera over here so you guys can see more of the details of what I'm looking at. But uh, we were successful. We figured out a way to make an adapter to get these stocks to work with our 880s. And in today's video, I'm going to mount this stock, which I've already prepped, to an 880. Now you do have to modify these somewhat, and then there's an adapter that uh, fits into the stock, and then it bolts right in. So with no further ado, I'm going to bring you guys over here so you can get a closer look at what we're doing, and then we'll continue. Uh -huh. So this is the adapter that we used uh, to get the Mossberg 500 stock to work with uh, the 880. So it simply, once you've prepared your stock, it simply fits right there. 
and then you're ready to bolt that up to your your 880 it's pretty simple it registers off a radius or cutout circle in the stock and then this slot in the stock so it positively locates and once I install it on an 880 here in a little while then I'll show you it's a super tight super solid fit it doesn't budge wiggle or go anywhere but how you prepare your 880 stock is when they come from the factory they have this raised ring or partial ring so that has to be removed it's not very thick uh, so it's not a whole lot of work to do it if you've ever used a wood chisel even somewhat uh, you can take a wood chisel and carefully remove it if you're uncomfortable doing that then you can take a a wood rasp and get it low and then finish it with sanding paper or you can take a file and get it low and finish it with sanding paper or you may just be able to file or rasp it as flush as you need because this mounting surface isn't going to show once the stock's installed anyway but you don't want to chip it out you don't want to gouge it you don't want to uh, mar the, the side of your or top of your stock so you just want to be use a little bit of care when you're removing this ring and then that's all you got to do once you remove this raised ring uh, I've already done it to this uh, other stock and uh, once you remove that raised ring then your adapter will fit right on there all right so that's really it here's a closer look at the uh, wood stock adapter that goes into the receiver it's substantial little steel piece it's uh it's, it's really steady it works really really well again you can get these from ron or ron 06 from the gateways of air gun just give him a message and i'm sure he'll be happy to hook you up i just ordered some more myself because i want to be doing this to uh all my main guns the ones i shoot and hunt with a lot so uh without any further ado I'm going to take you guys back over there and show you the installation of uh, the stock I've already got prepared onto an 880. Eventually, that's this stock's going to go on to my 1925. So we'll have another video showing you how to uh, install a new style power plant like the new 880s or the new 1977s into. Uh, metal receivers so you can find metal receivers sometimes on ebay or you can find a basket case parts gun off ebay or something and just scavenge the uh the metal receivers like these were scavenged uh from an old gun that was basically trashed and this happens to be a 1977 powertrain in this gun all right everybody uh i've got a uh, 85 model Daisy 880 I picked this one up recently on eBay for cheap and uh, this happens to be my favorite vintage of the older guns uh, the reason I say that is it has the wide loading port it has the smooth in other words no raised lettering or billboard on the right or the left receiver clean receivers and it has the cast metal pump arm. Uh, well, I like this pump arm. My favorite pump arm version is the cast metal with the plunger instead of using the spring loaded retainer, but again, I digress. So in any case, we're gonna remove this stock, put that thumb hole stock on here, and uh, you can see this old plastic stock. It's kind of wore out, there's a lot of wiggle. It's not going to, I'm not going to leave that stock on this gun. This gun's going, got a, a different destiny in life. But uh, to do that, all I've got to do is remove one of the receiver halves. So I'll take out the large stock bolt from the right side of the receiver. And we take out our two frame mounted screws on the left side of the receiver. You don't have to go deep into the gun to do this or put this in here. So we just uh, 
pull that off. And we are going to have to remove the other receiver half as well. Because uh, it traps the plastic stock. But that's as deep as we got to go. Alright. So now I can just pull out the old stock, set it aside. And we just take our uh, adapter piece with the uh, flange facing out of the receiver. And we can drop that in the receiver half. It fits right in the slot where the plastic stock has its flange. You'll see the flange here in your plastic stock. That's where that metal adapter piece goes. So once we set that in there, we just put our receiver halves back together. And I'm always careful of those trigger guards. They're a pain. I've got to cast some more up. The last resin I used, but not fantastic. That bolt wants to come apart. And your trigger guard. You don't want to force it if it's not lining up because you uh, can break trigger guards and those are hard to come by. Alright. So now we've got our receiver halves together. We just screw everything in place just like you normally would. It looks awkward putting one together without the stock on it, right? But now we've got our mounting plate in here. Uh, we're good to go. We can screw our stock on as soon as we finish bolting our uh, receiver together. So eventually I do want to put just a plain walnut stock and forearms on this gun and we'll blue the barrel. This is like I say my favorite vintage version of the 880. So now that we've got our uh, receivers reassembled with our adapter plate in, all we need to do now is bolt it together. So uh, this being a thumb hole stock, instead of having a long drawbar bolt that would install through the end of the stock, uh, being a thumb hole stock, it's got a short screw that actually uh, goes through the grip. So I put that screw in there. I can simply drop my adapter on. This one's a little awkward to bolt because it goes through the grip. You can't really get a lot of turns on it. So then just line your uh, stock screw up with your adapter and uh, screw it in. Like I say, this one's a real pain because uh, it's not easy to uh, get to, see what I mean? It's not easy. I'm going to hold it down here 
for a minute till I get this thing started with this Allen wrench. Probably should have started with a plain stock. <laughs> started so at this point now that it started if this had like I said been a regular stock I'd have uh, a socket with an extension going through the stock tightening it up and it would be going really fast but since I'm sitting here having to uh, do this with a tiny Allen wrench all I'm going to do is continue tightening this thing it's going to take a minute so I will cut back as soon as I get this thing fully tight. <laughs> Hit to the Allen wrench here and I'll have it fully tightened down to the uh, start. All right, that's nice and tight. So yeah, dude, absolutely zero wiggle. That is fantastic. Probably never seen such a fancy stock on an 880 before, but that now that's 880's got a real wood stock. So yeah, the length of pull, the co height, everything is really nice on that. But uh, again, this this butt stock's not staying on this gun. Uh, I'm going to do uh, use this on my 1925. So I mean, if you're satisfied with that. There's nothing really else you have to do, but uh, this being a 12 gauge stock, uh, the receiver that it was meant to bolt up to is a little bit wider and a little bit taller. So there's some overhang here. So what I'm gonna do is just take, I'm gonna bolt it up to the receiver and we'll take a Sharpie and outline this, uh, the 880 receiver. It's pretty close at the top of the receiver there's a fair amount of overhang at the bottom. The sides aren't terribly far off. And actually on the 20 gauge, it's even closer. I'm going to get a hold of a 410 uh, stock and put it on here and see if it's large enough or if it's really, really close. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is on the top and the corners here, this stock is uh, pretty close. So uh, without bolting up a 20 gauge or a 410, I'd be concerned like in these corners that it, it wouldn't it wouldn't come up to the top of the receiver. So 12 gauge might be a must as far as uh, matching up the receiver. But again, I'm just gonna take a Sharpie, outline uh, the where, uh, the, around the receiver on, on the top of the stock here. Then I can remove the stock. I know exactly where the receiver mates up and I can just either, I, be honest on the sides i'll probably just sand hand sand that in because there's really a, not a whole whole lot of material to remove but here on the bottom there's significant more material probably a little less than a quarter inch there pretty good bit so i'll probably just take a rat wood rasp and rasp that up to the line and then fin finish it by sanding it in so that it's nice and smooth go back finish smooth it uh i believe this stock was finished with true oil so then once i do that all i got to go back in is, is refinish it with true oil it'll it'll look like it was a factory but uh that's it man wood stocks for the 880s this will also work on your 1977s if you do a metal receiver retro which is exactly what i plan to do but uh Cool, now that I know that works, I'm fixing to post these little adapter piece uh, piece models up on Thingiverse, and there you have it, man. And then the next thing we're gonna do is figure out the forearms. I know I'm working on uh, fixtures to where they can be hand routed, but uh, I'm also gonna set, do a CNC setup, hopefully by the end of summer, to where it's, uh, just clamp them down, hit a button, and we can crank them out, and I'll propagate the setups, the tooling, the fixtures, everything for the CNC and put it out to the world so hopefully we can get some people out there providing those. But in any case, guys, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you.